<laughs> Got to go, it's Andrew Simons. And he gets it. What a run out. He is a king. Not only is he a power player with the bat, he was, is required time and time again in the field. And he has... It went from the sublime to the ridiculous. The Aussies do not miss a trick. White on target with the throw. Anyway, and the batsmen are stuffing things up on that. Opportunities for Australia. They've got to be ready to pounce. The bowling's going to help them out. Matt Glenn will be gone. There is a pounce if ever I've seen one. That is brilliant work. The old foot skills. Well, we've seen Mitchell Johnson do this a couple of times throughout the year. Peterson, I think, feels he's gone. He, he was about to continue running. Started taking his gloves off and then stopped, but, oh, he's got to go here. He's out by a metre. Mitchell Johnson has done it beautifully. Nice off drive. Beautifully timed on the up. Full face of the bat. They should run fourth. They go hard. Long boundary. And they're coming back, and that's good running. Just gets there. In fact, I'm not sure it is back down. This could well be out. Very casual in the last stride or two. Did he ground the batter? I think not. The Australians are very confident. A direct hit. It was a magnificent throw from the long boundary. Greg blew it. And if that's run out, that's very careless running. He was there. I think his bat may have been in the air. Watch this throw from Blewett. Where's the bat? Good long 70 metre throw. Where is a batsman? Oh, I think he may be just in. It's short. What a tragic way to get run out on the Adelaide over. We've been watching race five at Rose Hill. Good question. Good question. It's gone under the stumps. Has he run out? I think he's been thrown out. Let's have a look at this. It'll be an interesting dismissal. The shout was for LB. Was Jones having a bit of a sleep? Let's have a look at it. Who threw it? I think it's Ponting off the pad after the LBW appeal. And they think they've got him, Tony. Well, they, uh, they weren't appealing for uh, anything other than the LBW early on, and that was clearly not out. And then all of a sudden, it came from behind. So uh, this is what happened. The ball flicked up. He's out of his ground, clearly. And uh, does he get it back? And uh, no, that is... Free those arms. It's been a straight, but beautifully timed again. Chance! He's taken the stumps out as well, Captain. Ball in hand, taking the stumps out. Has he run out? I think he has backed it up, and he has thrown himself at the stumps, and I think he's beaten Umla. He has. He has indeed. The ball in hand takes the stumps out. That is just unbelievable. From umpire not interested in demand. Could be run out. And Jonty Rhodes has demolished the stumps. And umpire Bucknor has given him out. The flying leap with Pike. Well, it was going to require some brilliant fielding or some brilliant work in the field. And a better man you could not find than Jonty Rhodes. Ingzamam was hit on the pad. He was looking for the single and lumbered down the wicket. Imran was never interested. Jonty Rhodes knew there was a chance, decided not to throw, other than himself. He gets there first and wipes everything out. Umpire Steve Buckner, no hesitation, and that may well be the piece of fielding that South Africa needed. Got to give it to India. They look so up for this. Fantastic work. And England have lost a wicket just when they don't need to. That was a terrible call. No run whatsoever. He's taken on Mohamed Kaif, who's one of the best fielders in the Indian team. And he was onto it in a flash. And Nick Knight had no chance whatsoever. He had to hit direct, and he's done exactly that. And that is... That's exactly... Yeah, we'll take it. Six fast. Yeah. Cutting that angle. He, he's already there, you see? Yeah. And... He was so quick. It was absolutely brilliant. Mark, what was Nick Knight thinking? Thank <laughs> you.